it's Halloween time and uh, you can get all kinds of props all sorts of stuff for uh, fixing up your place at Halloween time and I'm gonna show you a little trick here that I use with some of my props hope you enjoy it what I've got here is a couple of severed limbs got down at the Halloween store they're fairly common latex soft but the problem is if you look at them all they do is lay there they're not very positionable but if you take what in the US is number 10 copper wire strip it down then you can shove it in the ends of the fingers and it's stiff enough that you'll be able to at that point I've already got one here bend or reposition the finger however you like okay so we've got our first piece cut here we're going to start with the arm what we're going to do is you're just going to shut it right in the end this is a solid foam prop here, so it doesn't go in real easy, but because there's no core on the inside of it, once you get it started, all you got to do is keep it straight, going down the length of the digit. Make sure that it goes in far enough that once you bend it'll stay where it's at and once fingertip compresses you let go and the end of the wire becomes concealed at which point the digit then becomes fully posable as far as the actual movability constraints will let it. Now it's not going to stretch far in the webbing here on the thumb on this one because it's just limited on how far it will go. Beyond that it will start tearing as you can see here but we may be able to fix that up with a, if we uh, put a little bit of liquid latex over top of it we're going to give that a try as well because I want a little bit more flexibility on this but we'll get to that shortly let's get all of the fingers done first and it helps if you can cut the wire at an angle to give yourself a point to shove in careful to keep it going in straight otherwise it will come out the side of the finger digits now. So now we're going to bend the fingers make them more articulate whereas once we 
had a straight hand. Now we've got one that's a little bit clawed or position it however we like. Next. And once you can position it, if you're out and about having a party, you can sit your hand up, hold, hold your beer bottle, You can set it up holding onto just about anything. You put it so that it's holding onto a plate. Then the thumb over. Be able to get a grip. There's not a plate, but reasonable enough representation on that. This is a build plate for. Uh, my 3D printer. Prior to that, getting it to hold the plate, fingers flex backwards, won't hold it very well. So we're going to do the other hand as well. This hand is actually a little bit softer than the other one, so it'll have more articulation to it. problem with this one is it seems to have a lot of air inside of it so we might have to see what we're going to do to <coughs> fill in some of that empty air space once we're done. I'm going to try this one, running it in from the back side, inside the palm area here, see where that goes for me. 